Hey, what's up everybody? This is Brian Boyle from Brian Boyle Music and the Producers Forum, back again with yet another Pro Tools 8 tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to put an arpeggiator into a groove, otherwise known as a shuffle or a swing, in three easy steps. Uh, in order to do that, we'll be learning how to use the Tab to Transient tool, uh, and also how to quantize audio regions. So let's get started. Alright, so I've got Pro Tools open here and I've already got a beat pre-made and a 100% shuffle. I've also got Vacuum, a software instrument that comes with Pro Tools uh, already open and some MIDI pre-recorded. I'm working with the arpeggiator turned on here. And I've got my note repeat value set to 16th notes. So let's listen to what the beat and the arpeggiator sound like together. So it sounds pretty cool, except the arpeggio and the beat don't quite sync up. So I'm going to show you how to sync them up in three simple steps. Step 1. Bus your audio from your MIDI track to a new stereo audio track. I'm going to go up to track, new, stereo audio track, create. I'm going to change my output on vacuum to bus 3-4 and my input on new audio 1 to bus 3 4 primer to record, highlight the MIDI primer to record and hit play alright step 2 is to use the tab to transient tool and make your cuts this is the tab to transient tool right here make sure that's selected, it's highlighted in blue and in case you were wondering what a transient is, in terms of physics, just a decaying signal or wave. So basically what the tab to transient does is it just jumps to the next place where your waveform starts to decay. You can see the cursor just jumping. All I'm doing is pressing tab, and that's why it's called tab to transient, because all you do is press tab. So highlight the arpeggiator, press tab, and then you're going to hit command E that makes a cut and then you can get into a nice little groove here just doing tab command E I'm going to cut all these alright step three go up to event event operations quantize this will bring up your event operations quantize menu Make sure that your note value is set to 16th notes. You have swing selected. You can choose your strength. I used to, I make it a little bit less than 100. And then highlight all of your slices. Make sure that audio regions is selected. Sometimes you have to click that again. And then hit apply. And you'll see my audio regions all jumped to a shuffle, a 92% swing. So let's listen to what it sounds like now. So there you go. Now the arpeggio bounces the same way the hi-hat and the beat does. So if you found this video helpful, please follow me on Twitter at Brian Boyle Music to stay up to date on all my latest Pro Tools video tutorials. You can also check out my website, brianboylemusic.wordpress.com, to stay up to date on new production tips and hot new artists to watch out for. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.